Here we have a lovely looking 2011 BMW 116D M Sport Performance Edition 5 door hatchback in blue water. Car's in a lovely condition as you'll see throughout the video for its age. Starting with the offside front tyre. As you can see tread depth there looking about 3 to 4 millimetres of tread. There is a bit of wearing to be fair on the outside edge of the tyre so just be wary of that. Looking at the alloys you get the nice uh, sort of grey finish to the alloys which is a real nice contrast to the blue. Uh, there's a little minor scuff mark down there. One minor curb mark there as well. Uh, rest of the alloy is fine, so again, good condition for its age to be fair. Looking down the offside of the vehicle, so getting a good look down the body. I personally cannot see any dinks or any dents at all down there. Around the offside front arch, just in a lovely clean condition, nothing at all to report there. Bit of a scratch on the mirror, um, I can just about get my nail into that, but I might be able to mop out. If not, might need a bit of paint. Uh, one or two minor little stone chips just require some touch ins. Driver's door itself, again we've got some light scratches here just to require a polish. A couple of minor little touch-ins on the paintwork as well. Also with the door edges, just a couple of minor touches there. But again, lovely condition, so again just minimal prep. Both the sills are fine, just one or two light marks here and there. Nothing at all to report on the roof. Rear passenger door, one again, just a light polish to some of these lighter scratches. Um, you can see some scratches by in here, it might require a little bit of paint as I can just about get my nail into those. Moving towards the rear arch and rear quarter, again just a minor little scratch there, again just requires a little bit of a touch in of paint, but apart from that it looks fine. Rear tyre, you're looking at about 3mm in the centre of the tyre there. On the rear alloys you can see a minor scuff mark on the alloy there, a little bit of curbing towards the outside edge of the alloy again, so maybe a potential refurb may be required. Moving towards the rear end of the vehicle. With the Performance Edition you get the slightly tinted rear lights which is again a lovely finish to the car. Um, a touch of paint will be needed there, you can see you've got a bit of a scuff mark on the paintwork. Again a bit of a touching and a bit of a polish to some of these lighter scratches on the back. Again touching required there. Boots in a lovely condition and no real sign of any serious damage at all. Inside the boot you got your parcel shelf in there and again nice clean condition inside there. Moving around to the near side rear tyre, again we're looking at about 3mm of tread and looking on the rear alloy again, a little bit of a curb mark on the outside edge of the alloy there so again a little bit of curbing, not too heavy but again may require a refurb. Looking on the rear arch we've got a light scuff mark here, um, again it is very light, I can't really get my nail into any of it apart from this little minor bit here so this should be able to mop out no problem. Looking down the near side of the vehicle there's a very light dink on the rear door, but no signs of any dents. Rear door edge is fine, front door edge, a very minor touch in required. Again, some scratches to the paintwork. Uh, it should polish out here. Um, on here, again, just about getting my nail into that, so I might need a bit of paint. Front door looks very clean. Front mirror is fine. Front arch, that's in a lovely clean condition. And there's a good 4mm on the front tie. Again, just a slight bit of wearing on the outside edge. Looking on there, the front alloy, again, a bit of a curb mark there. Looking around the rest of the alloy, it is okay, so just a bit of a minor refurb there. Moving around to the front of the vehicle, uh, just one or two very minor stone chips. Uh, looks like it's had a bit of paint previously on the front bumper, so looks like it's had a bit of paint. Um, again, it's a good job to be fair, uh, you can just slightly notice it. But apart from that, there's no signs of any damage at all to the front end. Bonnet looks very clean with just one or two minor stone chips. So that's the exterior of the vehicle. Taking a look inside, you do get the half leather and cloth, and being the performance edition, you get this lovely blue stitching on the leather, but it does look really nice, nice condition with no signs of any damage. Back of the seats are all in nice condition as well, even the carpets are lovely and clean. Same with the door panels. Taking a look at your driver's seat, the bolsters are in a lovely condition, as you can see there's no sign of any wearing at all. Again, really nice condition with no damage. Front passenger seat's also in a lovely condition. Dashboard sense console looks great, um, steering wheel again in nice condition. Inside the vehicle you do get two sets of keys with the vehicle, so two keys. Looking at the display whilst I start the car. As you can see 6,000 miles to the next service according to the vehicle. There's no issues at all starting the car and uh, again the mileage will slightly be adjusted um, but it's 61,764. It's probably going to be around 61,800 um, when you uh, pick up the vehicle. Um, as it's still in use, but no symbols on the dash. Uh, looking at the service history, we've got full BMW history here, which is brilliant. So we've got 15, um, 32, 39, the last one there at 50, so full BMW history. Looking at the V5, the car's had um, six owners, so six owners in total. And the MOT here, 1st of January 2017, so plenty left on the MOT. But everything's in good working order, air conditioning works, radio works, and it's a lovely looking car for its age.